tell us 101 times a person has to do Chazara. But there's something even before Chazara. And we call it Chazara, but this is what we mean. The Gemara in Erevin says that Moshe Rabbeinu taught the Torah four times. And Kalal Yisrael heard the, the Torah from every, every Talmud heard the Torah four times. Unless you go over the Gemara four times, it just doesn't even begin. And that is simply because it's a Rashi on this week's parasha. Rashi tells us in Vayikra, why are there gaps in the Torah? So that we should know that there are times where you need to absorb what you've just learned. Moshe Rabbeinu, who learns from the best Rebbe, he learned from the Rabbeinu Shalom himself. Moshe Rabbeinu had to pause to absorb the Torah that he learned. When one learns Torah the first time, four times, what you're doing is you're absorbing the Torah. You go through it once, you're getting one level of clarity. But most people at that point close the Gemara and go home. No. You go over it again, and suddenly it starts to filter in a little bit more. You understand the Kasha of Teretz. You go over it a third time. Now you see even more. And by the fourth time, it actually makes sense. It clicks and you get it. Going over something four times is that absorbing of the Torah. You have to do that. If you don't, we haven't begun. The Gemara tells us that Rish Lakish would learn the Gemara 24 times before he would go in and discuss the sugya with Rabbi Yechenen. Others would learn 40 times. Can I get the 40 days of the giving of the Torah? Because without that, you haven't started. You have to absorb the Torah. It's got to be part of you. And then we can speak about Chazara. And once the Torah has become part of you, then you take it with you wherever you go. I'd like to now introduce Rabbi Newman, who has done wonderful things in America. Amazing things. If people could come in from the back as well. Shh. But I would like to say one thing. We all understand Rabbi Newman is not going to be machadesh anything tonight. Nothing. Nobody is going to be machadesh anything new that Klalis all have not known for thousands of years. You can read it in the Rishonim. You can read it in Achorinim. Just apply yourself and go over and do Chazara and make it your friend and it will be your friend. This is not a new program that's come up. This is a thousands of year old program. It's just if you apply yourself, you'll have that Gemara in your hands. So without further ado, I ask Abdovin Newman to share with us some of his insights into what he's gained as a Machanech in the US. Shoes. Okay. 
Here's the mic. This morning, earlier today, on the way from the airport, I asked the taxi driver to pass Buckingham Palace. And there was no changing in the guards, it was raining. So we just passed by, I took a picture. I wanna tell you something, coming here tonight, I'm not even gonna show anyone that picture. It means nothing. This is Buckingham Palace right here, way more. This is HaKadosh Baruch Hu's palace. What went on today, earlier, by the, by the Seder, to hear the Kul Torah in that room, this is, Bucky, this is the palace of all palaces. This is why HaKadosh Baruch Hu created America and England and Africa and China and Japan for Kalal Yisrael. But we live in a world, we live in a Meshuggah world that screams Vakarit, that screams otherwise. You drive down the street and you see fancy cars and fancy houses and you see Buckingham Palace and you start thinking, there's something more, there's nothing more. There's nothing more besides Abaya and Rava. There's nothing more than owning Torah and that's why HaKadosh Baruch Hu created this world Bishvil us, us and the Torah. Why do we sometimes people think there's more to it? It's only if we don't have that emesa emesa simchas atayra, which taka led to the korban. You see, the Gemara Dharm says what led to the korban. They were learning Taira, but they didn't feel that simchas atayra shabircha b'tayra tchila. They weren't feeling it. That led to the korban. What we're showing here tonight, the Abish is looking down. Rabbi and Rav, Rabbi Yechon and Shlokash are looking down. They see what's happening here in, 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 in Golders Green, London. They're looking down. Shtelzach for the Nachas Ruach. This is giving upstairs in Shemayim. I can't even imagine. That Seder upstairs, the Kul Torah was Neurav Adir. They're dancing upstairs. We, didn't, we danced downstairs. They're dancing upstairs. The Malachim, the Tanoim, the Maroyim. Finally, I have a kavutz of hundreds of Bochim and Balabatim and Rabbeim that are dancing and treasuring my Torah. And Lachasu Shalom Fakarit, if David gives us a Klechem Dos, he gives us a treasure, and then we go, Chasu Shalom, people go and they daven things up, daven Yaitzazayin, they check it off in the list. I did my Torah for today. Shtelzer for the Tsar. The Tsar of the Amaroyim, the Tanoyim, they schwitzed on those words. I was saying earlier today, you have a Gemara and Sukkah, Rabbi Yechon says eight words. I mean, you have this, every, every Sugi in, in, in Shas is this. The, ten, the Tana and the Mishnah, the Amaroyim says a few words. Rabbi Yechon and Sukkah, Punkt, I was talking over there. Rabbi Yechon says, how big is a circle, Sukkah? He says eight words, Rabbi Yechon, and came out of the Helega Amaroyim's mouth, eight words. And the Gemara says, a blot, what did Rabbi Yechon mean? And back and forth, why would Rabbi Yechonin say 24 if it's really on 16 and 4 fifths? And what did he mean? He meant less than Amma, more than Amma, like duck, back and forth. The Gemara goes, the Gemara goes, reason the town on the Anamoy Rabbi Yechonin. So Shtelzafar Rabbi Yechonin is looking down, and we go, we dive it up, we don't even chazah, chazah shalom his words, we, we don't even understand it, Klar, that's Agamas Nefesh. On the flip side, on the flip side, what we're celebrating here, is the stories I just heard tonight. The stories I just heard tonight and the Gemaras I saw and the writings in the Gemaras and the charts of how many Chazars there were. There's a Kedish Kedashim upstairs in Shemayim looking down over here. I can't get all, I could say it a hundred times. We're standing in Buckingham Palace times a trillion. I really want to sit down. I'm just really overwhelmed. Rabbi Elan, I had no idea I was coming to this. I keep on telling you, Rabbi Yitzchak, I had no idea we were coming to this. I knew you're making an asifa. I had no idea this is what it's going to be. 
Bochrim, young, old, Rabbeim, Benalim, coming together for one reason, for Kovet Atayra, for Sibras Atayra, for Chazaras Atayra. It's unbelievable. But I have wrote that in the paper, so I'm going to be Makatsar, a few words that I want to just share. And we say in the Brocha, Vahar Evno Hashem Aleikeinu, Estivrei Terascha Bifinu. What's the word Bifinu trying to say? Why did Chazal put the word Bifinu in? Say, Vahar Evno Hashem Aleikeinu, Estivrei Terascha, make your Torah sweet. What are we trying to say when we say Bifinu? And Bifinu is the dogish of the, of, of the Brocha. We need to understand what Bifinu, what are we asking for when we say Bifinu? And of course, we're not asking Hakadosh Baruch Hu Vahar Rav Noah Hashem Alekeinu is Divrei Teiroscha. Make your Teiros sweet. That's Chutz Begadol Vanaira. Imagine going to ice cream store, asking the ice cream owner, "Make your ice cream sweet." He'll kick you right out of the store. We're not asking Hakadosh Baruch Hu make your Teiros sweet. The Teiros, the Kleichem Dasi Mesukim Midvash Vanayfa Sufim. We're asking Hakadosh Baruch Hu, please give us the Kleiches to taste that Har Arevis Bifinu. Give us the taste buds. There's no shortcut to get and develop these taste buds. There is no shortcut. There is one and only one way to develop these taste buds, Befinu. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the taste buds. We have to develop them. Just like in a mouth. How many taste buds we have? I think we have between two and 300 taste buds in our mouths. A cow, you know how many taste buds a cow has in his mouth? 3,000. Why 3,000? Because Hashem knows what's a cow eating grass. You ever see the cows eat the grass? They gobble it up like you're eating uh, uh, sesame chicken. Why? Because they have so many taste buds from all over their mouth that they understand the difference between this green grass and a lighter green and a drier out and a hay. To them, it's, it's, it's steak. To, to, our steak to them is their grass. They have so many taste buds, they love it. Hey, we, should, we don't need so many taste buds. We're not eating grass. Hashem gave us 200 taste buds. But you know what else needs taste buds? Our mind needs taste buds. And it has taste buds. And just like when you eat something that's sour, automatically, what do we do? The body, we don't have to think. If, you, if a person drinks sour milk, automatically, you gag on it. Automatically, it's repulsive. You don't have to think, should I vomit should i not swallow it's automatic the mind automatically does not want to let a gemara or anything in that does not make clear sense if something is not clear it gets repulsed it gets pushed away from our mind without us trying and that's what Chazal say for everyone and every Gemara, you start the beginning is Mar, and there's only one way to get to Seifei Masuk. It's Hazara, it's Hazara, it's getting the wrappers off the candy. It's getting the wrappers off that ice cream. Tyre is the ice cream, but if you bite them with the wrapper on, it's not going to be good. We need to take the wrappers off, and it's, it, it, it's, it's worse than ice cream. Ice cream has one wrapper. Gemara, most, every Gemara has for sure 10 wrappers. You have some Gemaras, a little harder Shakavataya, 20, 30, 50, 101 wrappers. There's no shortcuts. Take the wrappers off, one by one by one, until we get to the ice cream. And you know something? When you turn the Ahmed and you get to the next Ahmed, again the wrappers are there, and you got to work again. But at least we know in our mind how it's supposed to look from yesterday's Gemara. We need to throw ourselves in against our teva, our teva, everyone's teva is to turn, turn, make siyumim, turn, turn, turn. We need to throw against that teva. And we need to remember three C's to consistently be committed to chaza. To consistently, not one day yeah, one day not. Every day, yoim, 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 yoim. Be committed. Not when it's easy, I'll do it. Committed. We all daven. I tell the Barchim, they're not sure how much chazor they can do by his manim. I say, you plan on putting on tefillin every day? Yeah, of course. So do it this amount of chazor. Whatever you make kabbal, make a kabbal, do it like tefillin. Consistently be committed to chazor. 
But how do we know if we're committed? How do we know? I'm talking to myself now. How do we know if we're really committed? We all have Avas Atayra. We all have Cheshek Atayra. That's why we're here. How do we know if we're committed? I want to share one quick word. We say, Tayra Tzivalonu Moshe Meirosha Kihil As Yaakov. The Chazal say the word Meirosha is read Meurosa. Meurosa means married. We're married to Tayra. How do we know if we're married to Tayra? There was a grandfather, a Zaydi. He went with his Einikol to a wedding. He took his little six-year-old Einikol to a wedding. And he's walking around the Hasana. And the Einikol turns to his grandfather. He says, Zaydi, I see who the Kala is. The Kala, she's dressed in white. It's very clear to me who the Kala is. But who's the Hassan? On the men's side, everyone looks the same. Everyone has the same suit, hat. Who's the Hassan? So the grandfather says, it's a good question. Stay with me. Hold my hand till the end of the Hasana. And when we see the person that takes the kala home, he's the chassan. If we want to know if we're committed, if we want to know if we're committed to Gemara, if we're committed to breakthrough, if we're committed to take the wrappers off and taste the Mesikas Atayra, if you want to know, do you take your Gemara home? If it's left in yeshiva, not that Gemara specifically. If you don't open Gemara at home or on Shabbos or Shabbos afternoon or Bein Azmanim or Matzah Shabbos, then the marriage is a broken marriage. If there's a Kesha, Shal Kayama, you could see yourself. Am I opening a Gemara on a plane, on a train, in my house, on the couch? In shul before mincha, after mincha. Am I doing that? And if we're not, we need to do it because not... Rabbi, Rabbi Hartman said, for Elam Haboy, we could shake hands with the Chavetz Chaim. That's Emes V'yatsev. But for this world, we need to do it. For Elam Hazer. For Elam Hazer. Even Chas Hashem. Forget Elam Haba. For Elam Hazer. To be a person. In this Meshuggah world we live in. For us to be people. To survive this world. If we don't have Torah in our bloodstream, we're dead. And I'm going to read to you a letter which came on Friday. Happens to be by a Balabas, but the same things they gave to teenagers and to Bacharim. And this Balabas writes, I'm married for eight years. I'm going to read you. I'm skipping a lot, but I'm going to read you the point I want to bring out. You can't make this up. And he writes, after I got married, I just never had a drive or will to learn Gemara. I simply didn't enjoy it. In my yeshiva days... I always had a feeling of failure in my Gemara learn, learning, felt bored. Most of the learning in the yeshiva days was based on Rebbe Shir. I was never able to read a daf clearly. I felt accomplished, and after I got married, I just never gave Gemara another shot for eight years. This person lives in Lakewood, and he writes like this. First, he says, although things, after I got married, things were going smoothly, I felt a knot in my stomach for not being Koveya Itim. But then he joined Kinyan Masechta. And Rabbi Yitzchok, my Taira Shutif, who I have tremendous stomach cars, I tell you that we're here together, he'll elaborate more. But I want to just share what this person wrote. He writes, I joined Kinyan Masechta two months ago. And he, you have no idea how by joining Kinyan Masechta, my life was changed by Ruchnius and by before I joined this program, I never opened the Gemara to learn myself in years. Now I do. Before I joined this program, I have never gone consistently to shul to Daman Shachris. Now I do. Before I joined this program, I did not have a love or sweetness for Gemara. Now I do. Before joining this program, I never hazard. Now I do. And to me, this is the biggest punchline because he writes every morning when my alarm rings at 5.30 a.m., I actually jump out of bed with excitement. I am not making this up, he writes. And then this is the punch of all punchlines, and it got me to cry when I was reading this email. And he writes, on my way to shul, I yell with a geshmak bircha satayra. One last thing, he says, in the beginning I felt awkward opening a gemara in my house. I was afraid my wife would faint. But I'm reading this letter to bring this out. How does someone yell, 
Pirchas Atayra in the car between him and Hashem. How does it happen? How does someone yell? I'm just picturing him driving a Route 9 in Lakewood and yelling, Birchas Atayra, Vaharev Nasha Bachabonu. How does that come? That comes from one and only one way. He knows what he's going to go learn and what he learned yesterday is in his blood. It's in his bones. He loves it. It's his best friend, Abai and Ravi. He has a connection with them. He wants to invite the Chavrusa with the Tanoim and Marayim. That's where it comes from. I know it's late, but there's one more point I just want to, be, I want to just mention, and that is when a person owns a Gemara, we can understand what Chazal say when they say, Yekara hi mepninim. What does it mean, Yekara hi mepninim? The Torah is more precious than diamonds. What's Pashab Shat, the Chaim asks? How does it even make sense for Dovah Melech to say that Torah is more precious than diamonds? It doesn't, even, it doesn't flow. You're not going to say a house is more precious than a, than a chair. How do you even compare the two? Tell you it's more precious than diamonds. And the Chavetz Chaim says, I'm married to Gavot, and I want to be Messiah with that. And he says, diamonds is the only Gashmis in the world that one plus one is not two. You take gold, for example. One plus one is two. One ounce is $1,300. Two ounces is $2,600. 2,000 pounds. Yeah? You take everything. A loaf of bread is $2. Two loaves of bread is four. One plus one is two. Diamonds, one plus one is not two. One diamond, one carat diamond is two thousand dollars. A two carat diamond goes up to ten thousand. A three carat diamond could go up to fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, you have a big diamond like this, it doesn't multiply it, it goes it goes by sugar. Taira is a karahim epninim in this sense. And here's where Chazar comes on. Because if a person learns a shock of attire. And the steps don't flow, the Gemara doesn't flow, that's not your Karahim Epneum. That's a whole bunch of separate diamonds. It's diamonds, I'm not concerned about diamonds, but you're not connecting the diamonds. If a Bacher, a Balabas, a Yungaman, a Rebbe could close their eyes and go through a Sugya and see the steps of the Gemara, close your eyes while you're in the car, while you're walking in the street, just close your eyes and see the way the Gemara flows. See the 20, 30, 40 steps that you have in every single sugya, kasha, teretz, raya, boom, back and forth. You're connecting the diamonds. That's your karahim and him. We had, I'm going to say this mindset, not because I think everyone needs to be like this, but there were two bachram flying to Eretz Yisrael last year. They were going to learn in Eretz Yisrael, and they didn't even know each other could be on the same flight. And one goes to the other, Shia was one, and Yehuda's the other, and Shia goes to Yehuda, or vice versa. He says, you want to sit together, let's chazer on the plane. And they sit together, and they both take out the Gemara Sukkah before takeoff to Daf Beis, figuring they're going to learn half hour. They chazered and chazered and chazered more until they landed in Eretz Yisrael, and they said, Hajan Allah, Mesech the Sukkah. This is not Rab Chaim Kenevsky and not Rab Aaron Leibstein and Zatzal. These are two American boys. And what I'm taking out from the story is not that you all need to learn on the whole flight. I myself can't. You don't have to learn on the whole flight. But we need to be able to learn a whole flight. We need to know a Masech that, that we're able to learn a whole flight. And how are these Bacham able to learn a whole flight? For one reason. Because when they chazed Daf Beis, you know what was telling them to go further? Daf Gimel. Daf Gimel was talking to them. Learn me. And then Daf Dalin, and then the next parak, and then the next parak. They, they were getting pushed by their own Gemara that they chazed so many times. Imagine they would have gone to Daf Gimel or Dalin, they would have hit a big bump, the Shakraf tire wasn't flowing. You know what would have happened, guaranteed? Maybe they would have pushed themselves another 10 minutes, hit another bump, a uh, road bump. God bless you, Daf Zion. Learned an hour, fought like a million dollars, look around the plane, everyone else is sleeping, whatever. And this, uh, sitting and learning, they would have fought like a million dollars, pat themselves on the back, Shalom al Yisrael. The fact that they did not hit those road bombs, or if they did, they were very small, is what got them to finish a Mesechta on the plane, and we need to own Mesechtas that were able to do that. Two weeks ago, we had a, a Ritzuva Seyedah in the yeshiva, 
a five-hour Tanis Diba Ritzufa Seder with no clock and no talking. The Bochum and the Gemara is five hours. And after Ritzufa Seder, we were singing Tereshem Tamima and one Bochum glowing in his face with the Shama radiant. He says, Rebbe, I want to tell you something. He says, I has a 23 blot today. But I don't recall ever turning the page. How does that make sense? A Bacha should not remember learning five hours, don't remember turning the page? It makes a lot of sense if you're Chazer and you own it. You know why? Because Abaya was turning his pages, Rava was turning his pages. The page was insignificant. Page, a piece of paper was insignificant. The shock of a tire, the sugi was just going, flowing, 23 what? Until we got up, we started singing Tari Shem Tamima. This book is on a high, he'll remember this the rest of his life. My bracha to all of you to be zeiche etamude biyade in Olam Hava. But as important to live life in Olam Hazer, to survive this world. America and England, wherever we are, to survive this Meshuggah in the world. Of course, to be able to come upstairs with Talmud de Biyode and get Schar, Talmud Torah, Kireget Kulam, but push it for survival. Not to get Mushba, to create a Torah Tavlin against the craziness that's going on. Is to develop this Arevis Atayra, and if we have it, continue working on it. And I'm talking to myself, it's Avaida. It's not like I worked on it yesterday, I'm good to go. Every day is an Avaida. And if we have this Aravis, for those that are married, or will go over to your children. And those Bachrim and Mitch Shem, when you get married, that's the way it will go over to your children. Like the Basak says, when we have Baharev, no, then, Venia Nachnu, Vitsetseenu, Vitsetse Amcha, Beis Israel, Yoide Shemecha, we should be Zeicha to be Loimde Seyesecha Lishma. Looking around, this Asifa doesn't just happen. It doesn't just happen. People come together, hundreds of Bachram and Balabatim and young and old come together. There's force behind it, and there's tremendous force behind it. People that I'm Zayichi to get to know. Pretty much now for the first time, Reb Tzvi I met earlier, and Reb Elan I'm meeting now for the first time, and Reb Alex Jaffe, I didn't know, I didn't know till tonight. What, what you're accomplishing. But for, for this to happen, this Asifa, this mysterious lave and nefesh and koyach. And for that, HaKadosh Baruch should pour on you schar ad belidai. But coming from America, myself with Yitzchak, we want to share with you our own HaKar Satay for spreading our wealth, so to speak. If I could ask Reb Tzvi and Reb Elan to come up, I want to present you with a small token of Akar Zatayiv. to ask <clears throat> one of the Bnei Chabura, uh, Josh Moheim, to come up and make a siyum. Again, this is not something that uh, was particularly difficult. I think I only asked Josh maybe a week ago if he could do a siyum, and um, <clears throat> those that know the Masech, they know it. And therefore, we asked Josh to come up and be Messiah. Shkayach. I think before I'm Messiah, I just have to say one thing. And one thing is, Rabbi Sai, this is real. About eight years ago, I met a Boch who was in Rav Ilan's program, and I was just so incredibly impressed that he knew, I think it was Messiah Sukkah at the time, and I just didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. 
It's real, Rabbi. So what you're hearing is real. It even happened to me. Huge high five to Rabbi Newman. It's real, Rabbi. Say, let's be signed together. Mesechus Chagiga. Amr Shlakish. Ain Arash al Gehenim Shaletis Bepoche Yisrael. The the get the the uh, fires of Gehenim or the uh, Arash of Gehenim is not Shalit on the Poche Yisrael. Kal v'chomim is Bechazov. Ma'am is Bechazov. Shen love. Just as the Mizbech HaZahav has only got a very thin layer of gold and the fire was burning the whole time and the fire never affected it. In a Shaletas book, Poshe Yisrael Shemalei Mitzvos Karimoin. Even the Poshe Yisrael are full of mitzvos like a Rimoin. Dersev Kapela Harim Rei Kosech. Al Tikri Rei Kosech. El Rikonim Shebach. Al Achas Kama Vakama. Hadron Alach Chaim Bakodesh. Hadron <laughs> Hadron Allah, Messechas Hagiga, Hadra Halon, Data Halach, Messechas Hagiga, Vedata Halon, Lenis Sheikh, Menach Messechas Hagiga, Lenis Sheikh, Menach, Loba Oma Hadain, Veloba Oma da Ossing, Hero Tom of Fenecho, Adunai La Haish, Alahim, I have a saying. She's Hero Sir Oscar, but I'm saying about him has ever said, Monitor Lionel Haba, Hani by Papa, Romy by Papa, Nachman by Papa, Achimor by Papa. Abba Mori Ba Papa, Rafa Ba Papa, Rokish Ba Papa, Surchav Ba Papa, Abba Mori Ba Papa. Harav Noa Adam Noi Lehenu Sirei 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 Befinu. Vivi Vivi Es Amcha Beis Yisrael. Vini Akolano Anachin Vatzei Tzayinu Vatzei Tzayinu Amcha Beis Yisrael. Kolayin Dei Shemecha Vlayin Dei Sirei Secha. Meoivai Secha Meini Mesasecha Ki Leolam Hili. Hili Bi Chutzamim Vchukecha Lamayin Lamayin Vosh Lelam Lo Eshkach Vchukecha Ki Vom Ki Yisani Baruch Atah Adam Noi Lam Deini Chukecha Amen 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 Selavayid. Meoidim Anachin Fanecha, <laughs> I do not know how to shame shows our tiny son, Mesach Hagiga. Cain tells in the Haskell and Sech Safari Machin, the Simon Lil Modal Lamid, the Shmov Lassus, the Kaim is called every summer terror, Sech of the Ahava. The Schus Kalat and Noim Varmarai, the Samadech Homi, Yamad Lee, the Lazari, Shelo Tomush Hatter, and P. The P. Zari, the Zarazari Ado Lam. The Skyim B. The Salakha Tanaka, the Soch, the Shokha, the Shmo Allah, the Kitsa Hisi Hecha, Kivi Yumacha, the Sifu Hosh Neshaim, Urach Mimbi Mira. Vismola Osha Vachovoid, Adunoi Oisla Amo Yitain, Adunoi Varech Esamo Vashalim. Is Kadalvius? Is Kadalvius Kadash Meraba? Balamati, who Osid as Hadotta, Achaya, Maisala, Sraya, Yashon, Lachaya Alma. Nevnei karatav yishalemish chalala vayechalei begavem umeka bochana nuchraa mina aral as sava bochana di vishma la asye vayamlech kuchab ruchu vamachusei vikarei vayechayechon vayemechon vayechayechol beis Israel bagalav is man karevim ra main. Hey shmeh rabam varach leolam leolam ayalam aya yisvarach vishdebach vispaar vishremam vishnasei vishadav vishalei vishalal shmeh tukudishab ruchu. Leilam in Kober Hosse, Vishiros, Hodge, Hosse, and Hamasa, Darmiran Balamav in Romain. Ali saw Varabon of Altamide, and the Altamide, some of the Hom, the Alcomon, the Kalmon, the Oskin by Rasa, Diva Asra, Hodin, the Diva Hala Sava Asar. Yehela Hon Lachon, Shamra, Hinava Hiss of Rahim Hamma Rikin, Mizanam Rivihe, Bokon, Mikodam, Avun, the Vishmai, and Ru Amain. Yehe Shon Robin Shmai, the Hyvalin, the Kalis Rav in Romain. Ja, kann ich sagen, Ramein. Das ist doch mal, das ist doch mal, das ist doch mal.